Well, I did just get tested for stymate um, actually last month. So this is pretty recent for me. I haven't been really on top of it, but it's been hard because my normal hematologist is in Portland and I've been here. So we haven't ever really gotten a chance to do it. So I finally did it here. Um, and it was kind of funny because I thought I was like, I've got needles, it's fine. Like, sure it hurts a little bit, but it's no big deal. But um, I was sitting there and I was like getting nervous about having an IV like for the first time. And, uh, <laughs> and um, so I started to get like sick and I was like feeling lightheaded and stuff. And um, they actually, <laughs> so I went in and the nurse was like, I forgot my glasses today, so hopefully I can find your vein. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and so she, I think that made her nervous because I got nervous and she missed it. And I was like feeling queasy and like they leaned back my chair and gave me juice and like wrapped me in a blanket because I was like, you know, like being, feeling faint. Well, I was feeling faint. It wasn't like air quotes. I was actually, and it, that never happens to me. Um, but I finally like got it in. I like called my mom and it was like crying <laughs> and like, it was a mess, but not everyone's experience is going to be like that. I shouldn't scare people away, but I'm just saying like, it's, can be hard like all of this like medical stuff with like needles and everything but in the end it's worth it and you come out a stronger person <laughs> and it's fine and only the nurses know that you were a crying fainting baby <laughs> so it's all okay <laughs> um <laughs> yeah so that was uh that was fun and I was like this wouldn't have happened if it weren't for hemophilia but it's okay <laughs> I mean, it's been frustrating for me. I've sprained both ankles and both knees. And every time that happened was kind of scary, you know, and um, got kind of swollen. And I was like, I'm going to die. I'm never going to walk again. And, uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, it ended up being fine. And um, just, I don't know. I think you just don't need to be that scared, I guess, of what's going to happen. Um injuries kind of suck but it's part of life so it's all good um I've only been infused with factor a couple of times and it was more of a precaution one time was when I sprained my knee and the other time was when I got a concussion but then I also got uh infused with factor when I got my wisdom teeth taken out because they were worried about like the surgery and the blood and everything um but that was fine too so like Really, we've got good enough medicine nowadays that most of the time it's fine. Like, you'll be great. Um, just being aware and being careful is important. I think that's about it. Like, a lot of injuries aren't, like, a big, like, terrible thing. It's usually something little. Sometimes they don't even happen, like, for any reason at all, it seems like. Like, everyone's a lot of, or part of the time when my brother was injured, you know, and a joint started swelling up, it was just like, we don't know why this happened, but let's take care of it, you know? So, um, usually it's not like a huge thing that can have an effect. It might just be something little. So, 